I said this yesterday. I'll say it again. You don't really study the Word. The Word studies you. It divides the soul and spirit and looks at the heart. And I, I've got a picture of the, whole, the, the, the sharp two-edged sword penetrating my heart. And the closer I get to God, the deeper the sword gets. Why are you approaching me? Why do you want signs and wonders and miracles? Is it for yourself? See, the word's examining my heart. What are the intentions of my heart? Why do I, why do I want to be anointed and filled with the Spirit and run around, cast out demons? Why? Is it because have gifts will travel? <laughs> See, does gifts validate you? They don't. They don't validate you. They're gifts. Ask the people at Corinth. Paul said, you are so carnal. You, you fight with each other. And well, I'm of Paul. Well, I'm of, of Paul. Well, I've got you all beat. I'm of Christ. And Paul said, as long as you're that way, you're carnal. You're, you're earthly minded. But he said, you don't come behind in any gifts. They were operating in the gifts of the Spirit. And Paul had to tell them what they were doing. And then tell them how to do it. You do it in love. You do it to build the body up. It's not about you. And a lot of Christians, and some of you may be here this morning, you're going to get set free. You think that the gift or the calling or what you do validates you, and it doesn't. It validates Christ in you. And what happens is that is you don't have this intimate, face-to-face -face friendship relationship with God. With him, the one who loves you more than any other. And it's out of that relationship and being filled with the Spirit that the overflow of that comes out to the world. Because what you're doing is showing the world who Jesus is.